And as we've entered the second hour, we need calls to be coming in. And uh, the phone number, if you don't have it, is 248-601-2600. And don't dial immediately because since I've said that, a call has come in. Thank the Lord for that. And then early in the second hour, we want somebody to ask that we pray over the water. And may God bless us going forward, I pray. God bless. You're on the air. Hello, Pastor. How you doing? Doing the Lord's work, and I'm grateful. Uh, could you take other water, please? I was wanting somebody to ask that. I'm thankful that you're the one that did. I uh, will go ahead and follow through praying over it right now. God bless you. And so we're going to be praying over the water, but I want to explain it to any new listeners that don't understand. It is a practical thing first, and then it is blessed of the Lord. And uh, there is some tremendous knowledge that now is showing up that if we drink adequate water, the body gets clean on the inside and I've been reading of late that when we drink adequate water we don't need to take as much medicine as well and so may God give us wisdom knowledge and understanding concerning all of this and so I'm going to pray and then I'll cut my microphone so that the sound of me drinking the water doesn't go over the air. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm asking that our bodies could be blessed from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. And Jesus, when you were here on earth, you spent your days ministering to people that needed healing. And Jesus, you went back to the Heavenly Father. But before you left, you said, you will continue to do what you've been seeing done. And so I'm asking that we could have a time of better body. I ask God that our bodies could be blessed from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. And Lord, I'm also asking that we would eat better. With all my heart, I'm asking that I could eat better, that what I'm doing in eating is good for my body and not a harm for it, I pray. Minister to all of us, and we will thank thee. Bring us further in our moment, dear God, I pray. Cutting the microphone for just a moment. I thank the Lord for this moment. But it's time for calls to be coming in again. And I want the Lord to minister to all of us because we all are individuals that aren't needing what everybody else needs, but you have a need for something 
And I'm asking God to continue to bless all the truck drivers that have been calling in and all the workers, may they be blessed. I'm asking God to bless marriage because when you get older, you're not the same as when you were young in your body. And when you get older, your marriage isn't the same. May God let our marriages be blessed of the Lord. May God bless all of the caregivers. May God bless those that are up in years and need a better moment of living daily. May God help us all, I pray. Thanking God that a call just now has come in. God bless your on the air. Good morning, uh, Pastor Bogle. I'm calling in. It is a blessed thing at night. I'm driving down the road, and I can imagine all these truck drivers that are listening, and you're praying for each and everybody. I'm calling in to thank you for the prayers that I've asked for coverage on behalf of my wife, Tony, that was in the hospital to have a heart attack. They just took her out of Detroit, and she's now at the Henry Ford uh, Macomb, and I just left the hospital a little bit ago. She's in there for rehabilitation now, but I'm still anticipating the Lord will uh, reconstruct her heart. Amen. Amen. I thank you and all the people that I've asked for prayers, and I'm still asking for them. So. You are a blessing to everybody that even hears you, and they don't realize that. Let's ask God to bless that mother, and I thank God as uh, husband's asking this for your wife, right? Yes, sir. Dear yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that there would be such a blessing upon the wife. But, God, I ask that you would bless both husband and wife and give them a new chapter in their time of living that's blessed, I pray. Bring this moment on, blessed in a fresh manner. Minister to all of us, dear God, I pray. And, God, I ask that you would be with all of us as individuals. May we be able to be brought into the school of the Holy Spirit. May we be able, dear God, to have you bringing us on in a blessed way. Minister to all of us, dear God, I pray lead us and guide us in every bit of our living. Minister to all of us, dear God, I pray, bless us going forward daily is my prayer. We thank you and praise you now. Taking our next call with joy, God bless. You're on the air. Hello, Pastor Bogo. This is Patty. I, I'm looking for prayer so that my husband and I can find counsel to, to help us get our daughter back. I don't know if you remember her. Her name is Lisa. And they actually had her removed from the home. And I've been talking to the messenger of Pastor Dave, and he's been helping us. But I got to find counsel so that we could uh, go back to court and get some help. Because Lisa doesn't belong in a in a group home; she belongs here at home. Right. So we're trying to um, get counsel to represent us so that we can we can get that kind of help. And I know I know God knows what we're doing. And he knows he he knows he's given us so much. He's challenging us, and 
and they're challenging us. So I'm, I'm hoping that, because Lisa's a good girl. And she's your daughter? Yes, she is. And what age is that daughter? 35. Up that she's far. Development. She's intellectually impaired. Let's ask God to meet all of her needs and change this moment. I thank God for what's in your spirit. Thank you. Dear God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would put this moment back in your hands and change it, dear God, in a blessed way. Minister in this moment, dear God, I pray. I ask God that we could see your help in such a moment. Bring us further in this moment, dear God, I pray. And God, I'm asking for others that need to have a better moment in their living. Bring us all into a better moment, I pray. I ask it in Jesus' name, Lord, we shall thank thee. And uh, I just want to share this scripture before we take a call that's already here. But it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 31, For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. That's a deep thought. If we would judge ourselves... Others wouldn't do it. We need to be able to judge ourselves so that the moment could be changed.